people. So if you can be on camera, that's awesome. If not, totally understand. But um, yay, let's start with how about, since it's a small group so far, maybe we could go around and share one thing that we're celebrating for ourselves um, that we feel accomplished in last month, and then we'll jump into celebrating each other. So anybody want to start? Sure, I'll start. Awesome. Hi. Hi. Hi, my name is Natalie. Um, I think one thing that I'm really excited for for myself, like in the past month is like really stepping out of my comfort zone and like actually like hearing the, um, or like seeing the, the green flag to like introduce in person people to like Perium and like what solutions I have. Um, like recently, very recently, I just, I, um, I got a person to sign on that they were, you know, they were, they had, they were carrying a big old bucket of supplements. And I was like, Hey, do you not want to take all of those supplements and like have a conversation and just like talk to me about like maybe something else that I can provide for you. And turns out he had mold toxicity. And so just like jumping in and actually seeing an opportunity and like taking the reins and doing it. So, and feeling more comfortable in doing that. So I'm proud of myself for doing, for <laughs> stepping into that. So woohoo. Yay. Awesome, Natalie. That's great. Thanks for sharing. And we'll just keep popcorn style. So jump off. I'm celebrating that um, I feel really close to my family and things. Like I feel like, well, I, I've always wanted a way that made sense to reach out to people. And this is, I have to admit the, the like it's, it fell in my lap. It's so I'm in just this constant celebration of that and uh, that I can work on certain skills that I kind of haven't really worked on before and uh, kind of get the dribble with my left. And uh, you know, so I'm, I'm celebrating that this season, I, at least that for what I can tell right now. And I'm celebrating the paintings, getting really close with my art too. And so, yes, I'm celebrating the team too. You guys rock for sure. Awesome, Philip. I'm gonna celebrate you real quick for re-ranking consultant last month and hitting 1K club and that was awesome. So. And I love that your we how you weave your business into your just life. That's a big celebration. So congrats. For those of you jumping on. You're on mute, Mary Beth. Sorry, I was saying for those of you who just jumped on, we're just sharing, we're celebrating ourselves. So just jump off and share something that you're celebrating in terms of what you've feel accomplished in, in 2022 with Perium so far. I'll go. So um, I was a little overwhelmed and um, amazed at how well my month went this last month. Um, my goal was fast start director and I blew past that like mid month and almost hit executive. So <laughs> Um, super grateful and thankful for that. And, um, I hit three K club, which I had only gotten, uh, well, I got to one K club in January. So I basically tripled my business in a month, which was super, um, super thrilling. So I'm feeling really blessed and, um, excited for March. Hey, Christy, that's so awesome. And can I ask you, what do you think was different? What were you doing that's different that allowed you to triple your business? You know, I think a lot of it was, um, I think just, well, I did a, I wouldn't say a mini marathon because I, I reached out to 30 people in one day. Um, kind of early on in the month. And I honestly only got, I think, two customers out of that. But I think it opened up something in me that um, 
just attracted more. Um, I like I had people reaching out to me that I that I hadn't talked to in quite a while, you know. And um, since I, because I'm relaunching my business um, this year, um, I had people that were reaching out to me that I had reached out to like a year ago. So um, I think it was just um, my posture and my energy. I don't know. <laughs> but I hit UBT for the first time. And um, I actually got three, three ULTs in that week, but um, one of them wouldn't set up a smart order. Um, so, so yeah, I just, I think it was my posture, honestly. Yep. That's awesome. And I love hearing that. Cause it's, I hear it so many times. It's like, as soon as you just start getting in action and you get in massive action, all of a sudden the flow starts happening and like the energy gets, comes back to you because you're in a massive action. Like every time I do that, all of a sudden people are reaching out to me. It's like some kind of energetic they can feel it. I can feel it. So it's really cool to hear you say that. Congratulations, Christy. Thank you. Yeah. And one other thing, um, the weirdest thing too, was Jen and I did a, so I was, we were, it was kind of a test interview thing that we did on Facebook. We weren't really, um, cause we couldn't get my Facebook live to work, um, to do an interview. So we did it on her Facebook and then I interviewed, I interviewed her on her Facebook. So it was kind of backwards, you know, but we just did it anyways. And I got two customers off of that interview off of her Facebook page. So, you know, people that I knew um, that just happened to see it. And one of them, she, she wasn't even a friend on Facebook. We had somehow not friended each other yet, but she saw it somehow it came across her feed. So yeah, you just never know. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey everyone, I'll hop on. I'm driving. So I have some reception right now, but this is Camille. I'm um, Chrissy. That's so inspiring. Congratulations. Um, thing that I'm celebrating for myself was re-ranking diamond this month. And, um, being able to support my whole team to hit their goals. That was super fun. And um, hitting 3K club was was great. And just feeling uh, more embodied um, with my social media. I did the reels challenge with Brock and Shailene Johnson, a 14 day reel challenge. So that was um, a growth edge for me. Um, and I'm excited to start another one on Monday, a 30 day reel challenge um, to see what happens with that, and I have um, attracted a couple new uh, followers that I really am enjoying engaging with, and they're like real followers, so that's cool. And um, yeah, just feeling excited. I, I started a um, started Fit February as well, so I'm working out really consistently, and I think that that's really helping my motivation as well as my mindset and helping me get a little bit more organized too by fitting that in. So thanks for the space. Yeah, Camille, and I just want to give you big props because Camille helped someone on her team hit fast start executive. She uh, birthed a new director. She helped with re-ranks. And then she also was like in massive action for herself too. So Camille, I saw like a hu huge new embodiment in, in your energy last month of just like really owning, you know, your business and what you're creating and who you're supporting to do it with. And it's really inspiring. So mega congratulations. Hey, I'll go. Um, my name is Mandy and congratulations y'all. That's amazing. I love hearing these stories. Um, I'm kind of celebrating just getting back on the train and back in um, with Perium. I'm really, really excited to um, really grow um, quickly. <laughs> uh, I had my first community um, Zoom call Tuesday or Wednesday, Wednesday. 
um, with a lot of support from Anna and Mary Beth and it went great and I'm still working on that. So hopefully we can get some um, people coming in and coming on from that. So I'm really excited to be back in, um, back in. So thanks for all your support and um, all your stories and all the encouragement and hearing your stories. Yeah, Mandy, and I want to congratulate you too of just when she made the decision to start back up, she's just like <clears throat> been connecting with us and been like, okay, what do I do next? And asking question. And, you know, you just made the decision to start back up and you, she did her first like own personal community cleanse call, like on this week when we just planned that in like five days and she did it. And so Mandy, I just love seeing you making the decision and going for it. I just want to second. I just want to second that for Mandy and Camille. Um, <laughs> you both have just like stepped in so much, and it's been such a beautiful thing to witness and be a part of. And it's really like stoked my fire as well to get my business going. And I think something I've really embodied this past month was like this is my business and I've been a business owner before with a massage business and I know how seriously and how dedicated I was to that. And so it's something just kind of like, okay, that, that's what this is going to take as well. It's going to take actually making this a business and sitting down with it every day, even if it's for an hour. So um, I think the consistency has been really great for me. Um, just re just visiting my tracker sheet every day has helped a lot to <clears throat> just to stay consistent with follow-ups and things like that and um, it's really showing and, and like Mary Beth said like the energetics of it is is phenomenal <laughs> you, you reach out to one person and then two people from total like different directions reach out to reach, reach out to me so um, had a lot of that happening and just a lot of momentum and inspiration, motivation, um, a lot of clarity. And I really feel like I'm starting to embody this next level of leadership and, and excitement for life in general. This guy helps a lot. <laughs> Yeah, Anna, and I want to shout you out because this is like the most engaged I've seen you with your team in a long time, like really getting in with your team and supporting them. And yeah, I felt that shift for you too. And I promise you guys, if you treat this business like a business, it will grow. It just takes that shift of being like, oh, right, this is my business. <laughs> so congratulations, Anna. That's awesome. Hey y'all, I can hop on real quick. My children are quiet for as long as I have, maybe a few seconds. <laughs> um, I am celebrating primarily some wins in my personal healing journey around um, some deeper nervous system shifting that has been long overdue and that I've been um, in retrospect struggling with for quite a while. So um, I, have shifted my mindset at this point and it's you know I can feel it in my body that there's a lot shifting around um, what I did and what got me to diamond the first time is not going to be what gets me through diamond and on up in the ranks in the future so um, I really feel that shift in my body right now and I'm excited to see what's ahead and I'm also uh, yeah, just some of the things to echo some of the things that Anna and Camille have said, I'm starting to feel more embodied in what, what this work actually is and how it feels and how it can feel. <laughs> and yeah, just feeling a lot more present and excited to see what comes of this month and beyond. And I'll just celebrate real quick something coming up is I'm going to be co-hosting my first business opportunity next week. And um, I feel like really ready to do that. I, I feel like I've, my business, my team is not really active right now, but that doesn't even matter. Like I, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm going with this and I'm excited to step into that new level of 
leadership and ownership of what I'm doing here. So thanks. <laughs> Yeah, Lisa, I want to shout you out hugely because not only are you going to do one, you volunteered to do another one. So we're going to be seeing Lisa lead these biz ops more frequently. And that's that's a big next step. So really, congratulations. Hello, everyone. I think I'm just going to introduce myself. I'm probably the newest member here. Um, I'm still on the journey of 30-day ULT. I'm on my, I'm halfway past, past the program. So I'm still learning everything, but um, I think interesting thing happened uh, with this Purium journey was that I was poor, pushed out of my comfort zone. And because of that, it opened up the door for my own health coaching business. And so, you know, the premium really has become a gateway uh, for me to reach out to more people. And um, I have, for example, recently I have a, um, I have a Chinese fan page with 3,500 people in it, but I've been not active the first, uh, the last few years. And I thought that I wouldn't use that page at all. But then just a couple of days ago, I jumped in and then just did a Facebook live. And then now I have 10, 12 people waiting uh, to enroll in the premium protocol. So I was like, oh, yeah. So I, I didn't expect that at all. And, and I think this is very exciting. As far as all the ranking and all that, I'm still trying to figure out the system, to be honest with you. I'm not familiar with the business model yet, but I think you know this is all exciting because I do see and then feel the energy shift in me and in my uh, business. So that's all yeah. I have to share. Thank you. Yeah, Palin, and I want to shout you out hugely because Palin hit Fast Start Director in her first month last month. So even though you don't know what all that means, she's, she got a $400 bonus and, you know, she's starting off really strong. And um, I just want to say it's, it's amazing to jump in that uncomfortability because for a lot of people, Perium is kind of that gateway vehicle that they can weave into their other business. And it just pushes us to learn how to reach out more and market differently and all of that. So I see big things for you, Paylin, and just glad you're able to help people. So congratulations. Thank you for all your support. Who else do we have on here? Mary Cornwell or Rebecca, you guys, are you able to jump off? Hi, um, I can talk. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna go live with my video. Um, it's definitely been a shift for me, you know, in other areas of my life, I haven't really gotten, I really haven't gotten started um, the way I was, hoping to or thinking I would um, with Purium, but it definitely shifted me into action in other areas. And um, I know that it definitely, you know, can be a sustainable business by itself, but just getting into the mindset, um, like doing the 10 days of lives and um, I'm just in a big transition in my life, but it's, it's helped me to go out and just kind of reevaluate what I need to do overall. So I haven't really focused on Purium itself very, very strongly just because I need, you know, I needed to figure out rent and housing and, and other aspects of life. But now that those things are coming into alignment, like through the motivation of this, this was like something I just, it was kind of a snap decision. Like I thought about it for a while, um, but it definitely helped me shift my mindset. So now I have some other, you know, jobs that I'm doing that can pay the bills. And I feel like once I have stability there, I'll be able to focus on this more um, because I really was at like a very, kind of at a precipice there with, with my life but I appreciate all the calls and all the encouragement and I know that it's, that it's possible. So like the energy movement is definitely happening. Um, but for me, I just know that I needed to feel a little more stable before I dedicated, you know, everything to this. 
um, in hopes that it would pay the bills. But, you know, once I can, you know, once I know that I'm paying my bills, I, I feel like I'll be able to jump into this. And Mary and I were hoping to do some events here together. So my time, my schedule is suddenly getting very busy. <laughs> um, but I think that's a good thing. And I'm making more contacts in these other, you know, in other areas of my life. And so, you know, my other job that I just got, I think will actually be a great way to feed into this because it's with a tourism company. So there should be, you know, just a lot of new people to speak to and, and like just to put it out there for them and connect with and who knows where that will lead. So I appreciate everyone and hearing the stories of success and yeah. Awesome, Rebecca. It's so good to have you on the team. And, you know, I will say that this is definitely um, like when I first started, many people have heard this, but I was working like four other jobs, you know, and um, it wasn't until about eight months in that I was able to make enough financially where I could really let those other things go and now just really focus on Perium. But it doesn't have to be an all or nothing kind of thing. That's the beauty of Perium is you can totally interweave it into other things. And um, when you're first getting started, it totally can be to your benefit because like you're saying, it can be a way to network and um, it can bring you motivation into other aspects of your life and stuff. So glad to have you in the team, Rebecca, and just glad to help you or excited to help you, you grow in this area. So thanks for yeah. being here. I will, I'll go next. <laughs> um, I was waiting for a quiet spot. Um, I have had a lot going on this year in regards to like health and then trying to juggle a couple other consulting jobs. And so Perium um, was, it was like a, it was a really big blessing because um, it was able to, I was able to still put work in, but also focus on the other jobs and like put, just gain some new skills from like working on a biodynamic farm and like really getting to understand more of what Perium is like from the soil side of things. And it was really cool to be able to get to see the, um, the, the, how the business model actually works. Because when I was working at the farm, I was getting paid $20 an hour gaining a ton of amazing experience, um, but then making the realization that, oh, wow, in seven hours, I just made like um, $140 and I could have easily done that in a day working with Perium or like it would be, it would be, uh, and doing something that like I really thoroughly enjoy. And so it was like what we talk about of the trading dollars for hours. And we, we talk about that. And we hear that on like calls. Um, but it was like, it happened in real life. And I saw that and it was, um, it was, it was very motivating to me. Um, and so I'm excited. I'm actually headed on my way to a coffee shop right now, just to, to work on Perion. And, um, I think the working on the farm was a really good experience, but I'm excited to dive deep, use that experience that I got from the farm, knowing that my business is still here because that's the beauty of this, um, is that it's still standing and I'm really excited to put in more consistency, um, and my goal is green diamond this month. Yahoo, Mary. And I just want to celebrate you too, for bringing on your new brand partner, Rebecca. And, um, yeah, just, just watching you kind of have this shift of, of realizing how much you really do love your Perian business. And, um, that's what I love about this work so much is we can kind of go in and out. And then we have another experience that makes us be like, oh, wow. Yeah, that Perium thing I got going is really great. So it's awesome. Um, cool, you guys. Well, I so appreciate each and every one of you. And Lisa, Lisa said she's celebrating six plus week of daily reels on Instagram. That's a huge celebration. So congratulations there. And um, I thought, you know, we'll keep this at 30 minutes, but I would love to hear from you each. You know, if we could, we could just pass this around really quick, just one word of what is the characteristic that you are wanting to embody moving into this month um, in order to reach your goals. So for instance, my, what I'm really, really working on embodying right now is um, deepened leadership. So that is really what I'm gonna be focusing on this month is you know, how can I lead in new ways and be a leader in ways that I've never been a leader before and deepening my leadership so that I can help more people grow into their own leadership. So that is my intention for this month is deepened leadership. 
And I'd love to hear from each of you, maybe if you can think of one word or phrase that you're really gonna hope focus on embodying. Um, and if you care to share how you're gonna do it, um, for me, that's just working a lot closer with my leaders. And I've also invested this month in a lot of personal development coursework so that I can really take myself to the next level. So those are my action steps for it. Popcorn style, pop off and share as you will. The so word that came to mind for me was energy. Um, I don't know exactly what that means or how, how I'm going to do it, but, um, I know I need to um, create more energy around my social media. So I think maybe that's it. For me, that will be focused and consistent. How are you going to, what are some of the ideas of how to bring those into your business, Palin? I will continue to do some Facebook Live and uh, I'm already having a process of getting the 30 day challenge going. So that's still going on. Uh, I still enrolling people in and, and you know, uh, promoting more of the events. So I think I will get more enrollment in. Um, yeah, I think that's so far. Yeah, I think I'll just focus on one thing. I had, um updated my calendar still doing it and I, I see it as a layering kind of thing I'm starting to see that as an art instead of like how I used to look at it before as a major task now it's allowing me more freedom so I want to work on organization I love that Philip see your calendar is art love that <laughs> that's great I think that's awesome too uh I'm going to do um, being more confident, more confident with using social media. Um, I just learned how to do reels. So, and they're really fun. Um, so mine's going to be more confidence, more confidence so that I can put myself out there more with Purium and my Ayurvedic business. Sorry, there's a plane. So, yeah. being more interested than interesting starting conversations based on that person not any type of um you know what I need from it so just uh continuing to build authentic conversations and without any expectations so really coming from the heart of service and what I can offer people maybe that's just a listening ear maybe it's a power shake <laughs> maybe it's ULT or maybe it's just or, or the business um but really just focusing on <laughs> not want me to talk right now. But yeah, you get the point. <laughs> High intention, low attachment, focusing on what you can give rather than get. Beautiful, Anna. Hi. Oh. Can you hear me? Yep, you're good. Okay. Um, for me, I think it's trust and flow or trusting in the flow. Um, because like I said, I really haven't, I don't feel like I've started the way I was thinking I would, but I've seen like very clearly how jumping into Purium like led to other alignments that were really like healing and necessary for me. I mean, Mary and, and me hanging out more, we, we met this, um, great, um, like basically a healer guru and um, just how all the pieces come together, you know, and how my other jobs are going to allow me, you know, wider reach and are just making me more accountable overall. So just trusting in the flow and that like, this is for a reason and whether or not I, you know, get the fast start bonuses or anything like that. I know that at some point this is going to be really fruitful for me. So yeah, I feel that. Trusting the process, a huge piece of this business. <laughs> Many of I see a lot of you smiling. So yeah, that's great, Rebecca. 
for me, this month is all about replacing the I have to or I should with I get to. And that's really across the board in my life, but um, in my business that is feeling like a really powerful shift because instead of thinking like, oh, I have to prospect, I have to reach out to five people. It's the energy is so different when I say, I get to talk to five new people today. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm working on this month or sticking with. <laughs>
my business and I get to enjoy the process. So I think that's a great shift. Um, so I'm gonna borrow a page out of your playbook. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, a huge shout out, Rebecca. You guys, Rebecca, Rebecca hit fast start executive. And like she said, 33 new women, like it's just so inspiring. And you're pregnant with your eighth baby, like holy smokes. <laughs> so first trimester, those of us that have had babies know how that can be. So you're just amazing. And um, yeah, it's really, I'm just happy to celebrate you. And I also see that for you doing it with a team as well, because not everyone can do that alone, or should we do it every single time alone? So, but congratulations. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Did everybody get to go? Camille, are you, I know you're driving. Are you able to pop off and share your motto for the month? Yeah, I think so. My, my internet is a little spotty, so, so let me know if you can hear me. But um, uh, first of all, I want to say, Rebecca, it's so great to hear your takeaways um, and your process um, for last month. It was really fun uh, watching, watching you succeed so into such a high level. Um, it really motivated me for sure. Um, I would say it, my motto moving forward in this month is follow up. Um, I had uh, Were those some very successful questions um, and not feeling like I was hearing me. Right. You're kind of cutting in and out, Camille, but I think we can hear you now. Okay. Um, yeah, just follow up the same consistent, not feeling like I'm bothering people, but really coming with a place of service and supporting my, um, my enrollees. And then also consistency too. I, I feel like I, I do weave Perium into my day, but sometimes I feel like Perium is like all I'm doing because I'm weaving it in. So I would love to just be able to have some really focused time blocks and figure out how that's going to work. So thank you. Fortune is in the follow-up, as we all know. So awesome, Camille. Um, and I just want to shout you out because you had amazing follow-up last month and it really showed. So keep going with that momentum. And um, all right, we've got about five more minutes left, you guys. And Michelle just jumped on, which is perfect timing. Michelle, what we were doing was celebrating ourselves for our like how we felt accomplished last month and then sharing like a motto or phrase of what we want to embody this month. And then also Michelle um, shared with me something really potent yesterday that maybe you could just close the call off for us with Michelle and um, what she's going to share is kind of a way that we can focus on celebrating and lifting each other up throughout the month. And um, this is like kind of another way to celebrate each other and another perspective on it. So Michelle, I'll pass it off to you. And first of all, I'll just say Michelle had an amazing month, you guys. Fast Start Reset Executive, UBT. Um, I can't even, what was it, like 7K Club, I'm pretty sure. Um, new Fast Start Director, just like so in momentum and, and embodiment. So I'm glad you're our last share to really like infuse us with that energy of whatever you're doing. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it was super fun. And, and, you know, it all culminated at the end of the month. I had a great a uh, great month and a lot of energy. I actually had to fly. I was in Mexico. I had to fly back to Colorado and um, because my nutrients got lost in the mail and then they got stuck at customs and it was this big whole debacle, but um, it was just so much energy that shows you like how deep my belief is and what I'm doing in the products because <laughs> I was willing to like go home and like go through this whole situation and customs all over again. And uh and I think it really translated. I had a lot of people just organically reaching out to me because I have been out there having conversations and putting myself out there a little more. So that was really great. And um, somebody that's been watching me, I am in a, in a mentorship program and somebody that's been in the mentorship program with us is uh, has been seeing my growth and just opening to this perspective change that I've had and really understanding like who... Um, I think you guys did this with the brand partner magnet the other day, like, who do you have to be to attract the kinds of persons that you people that you want and and this goes for clients, it goes for business partners, and um, we've really been steeping deep into um, that piece of it, and how can 
I have all of these celebrations of, yeah, I hit UBT and, and I helped somebody hit Fast Start Director, which was huge because I wanted her to feel the energy and the momentum and change the relationship to finances for her own business. And, and it happened and it was so neat. But um, my coach asked me, who do you, who are you being that got the result of hitting these accolades? And it's kind of, it's not kind of, but it's the philosophy that the, the event, the, the thing that you're celebrating is really just a symptom of who you're being in life. And that got that result. You'd have to be aligned with something to have your achievements. And so I just thought it was a really neat um, thing because I, we celebrate each other so much in the Sohana. And we're always like, look at what this person's achieved. Like, well, and, and it's like, what's possible? And, and, it, and it's so motivating. And it's so worth it, I think, for us to start looking and celebrating who we were being. We're being courageous. We're being, right? Like, wh who did we have to be to, to go live 10 days in a row? We had to be creative, courageous. Who did we have to be to, you know, take the no's as a no for now? empathetic you know who who are we being so you have to align with what it is that you want to achieve and and when you're achieving those things we get to really um i really want to start focusing on your um who you're being to have gotten that so uh does that make sense mary beth maybe you want to like wrap wrap it in what i was trying to say here but no, yeah, I think it totally makes sense. And I think that's something we could all do throughout the month as like when we're shouting each other out, also shouting out like, hey, I'm shouting Michelle out because I saw her embodying her courageousness, which helped her hit UBT. I think that is really a key factor of how we can start celebrating each other is sharing what characteristic we're each embodying when we do that action so that others can see, oh, if I want to hit UBT, I need to be courageous, right? So I love that you brought that aspect in, Michelle. And um, I had a, um, I can tell a quick story that um, I have really been wanting to work with disenfranchised nurses. And you guys have heard me say that. And we were um, out at our friend's restaurant and another friend had company in from out of town. There were nurses there. And um, we were talking about something completely different. It was just a very normal conversation. And I'm always looking for ways to drop in what I do, but um, she asked for my, my information to contact me about what we were talking about. And then she said, oh my gosh, you work in wellness. And I said, I do. And I said, I do. I do nutrition therapies and I help people transform and rehabilitate their guts. And, and she goes, oh my gosh. I said, what, do you do the same thing? And she said, no, we're nurses and we just were looking to get out. And I said, oh, well then you'd be happy to know that I support. I just said it like I already do it. <laughs> I support disenfranchised medical professionals um, go online and add a nutrition component to an online business and, and help people uh, regenerate their health. And she stood up with both arms raised and was like, me, pick us, pick us. And as we were walking away and, you know, so we just, oh, great, we have more to talk about. And I have to tell you, like my heart was beating out of my chest because part of me was like, how dare I say that? You know, <laughs> and the other part of me, you know, I turned to my husband when we walked away and I just said, did you see that? That's, that's the big picture, like, that's the embodiment of who I'm becoming and, and what, what I'm being. And I, because I'm the person that has these conversations. I'm the person that disenfranchised nurses find. They've been praying for me and the solutions that I have. It's just like deepened my belief. And so that's who I was being in the moment. And I think that's why this month happened the way it is. And when I got celebrated in, in my mentorship community, um, they really recognized me for that. And I would love to bring this into us. Yahoo, that's amazing, Michelle. Beautiful. So Michelle, what's your one word moving into this month? Sounds like embodiment, but <laughs> let you choose it. Um, Posture. 
Yeah, it's already done. It's already, it's already it, it is what's possible for me. So now I'm, I just have to keep aligning with it and keep getting ready to um, be the full embodiment of, of what it is I see for my life and my future and not get bogged down. This is way more than one word. <laughs> and not get bogged down with the no's or the no for now's or the ways it, it isn't working. I'm just going to keep looking for evidence. Maybe that's my word evidence of, of what is working and, and really just keep highlighting that in myself and in my partners. Yep. Love that. Yahoo. Congratulations. And Thanks. all right, y'all. Well, this has been powerful and I love that you guys just come here and share. And it's so inspiring to hear from each of you and, and hear what's working and how you're doing it and what you're embodying. And so let's just keep this going throughout the month. We have our, you know, um, level up leadership messenger thread. So let's shout each other out and um, share what we're embodying and doing all these things. Cause that really helps. And, um, I appreciate you all so deeply. I'm so thankful to each and every one of you. And it's just makes me so happy to see everyone stepping into what it is that they're creating because it allows me to step into more of that too. So, um, I'm at where I'm at because of all of you and so many more, and I'm so, so grateful. So thank you. And, um, I'm going to be releasing a seven day lives challenge in we on fire today. So I'm um, going off of Michelle Borsman's idea of doing the three, three lives a day for seven days, short lives, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. I have a, like a write out of what each of those should be. And they're literally like two minutes, one to two minutes each. So check we on fire later to um, get the drop of the three lives a day for seven days challenge. And let's just keep rolling with this momentum. Love you all so much. Thank you.